Axe Nation, what's up? It's me, the natural one, Kavino Johnson. Hey, uh, so last week I was telling you guys that I was um, I was <clears throat> counting down to my competition. Uh, today is Monday, October the 7th, uh, which leaves me about 26 days before I step on stage. I told you guys that I was going to let you guys, uh, I was going to let you take this journey with me uh, these last four weeks, um, all the way through competition day from early that morning till after the show. And all the way to what the hell I'll be eating afterwards. Um, but um, what I wanted to do was address something real quick. I uh, get a lot of emails about people wanting to know how much cardio they should do. Well, the only way I can answer that, it all depends on what your goals are. Um, are you going for extreme weight loss? Are you going for um, just maintaining? Are you going for uh, competition? I just, you know, it, it, everything that you do, it, it, whether it's eating, training, cardio, sleeping, it all depends on what your goals are. I mean, that's that's what you have to set set around that is whatever your goals might be, you have to accommodate that. You have to make it happen. Um, as for me, as a bodybuilder, um, as a competing bodybuilder, um, cardio throughout the year has been uh, – it hasn't been – it's not an everyday thing. Um my goal throughout the year is to put on muscle, um, maintain a, a, a decent body fat percentage. Um, and, and, you know, once, once I get around to this time where I'm four weeks away from stepping on stage or less than four weeks, um, my cardio changes a little bit. Uh, it becomes more frequent. Um, it becomes more intense. But I don't believe in long, drawn-out sessions of treadmill work or elliptical work or bike work or anything like that. If, if you guys uh, tuned in last week, you saw my in-home HIIT training with cardio. Uh, I did, what, some sprinting, some uh, thrusters, uh, jump rope, kettlebell swings, leg raises. And I did that, like, for five or six rounds, knocked it out, and it was done. It, it was done. Um and the same goes with the video I'm about to upload. Uh, this video, it's um, instead of instead of staying at home and instead of going to the confines of, of a gym, I actually went to my local high school here um, and and used their track. Uh, yeah, we had to jump the fence, and uh, when I say we, I mean uh, me and my son and our, our our dog. We all had to jump the fence. It's okay. I'm not teaching them anything bad. I promise. Um, but the work had to get done, so we did what we had to do. Anyway, um, I was taken to the track. I ran some sprints. I did some stadium stairs. Um, I was out there for less than 30 minutes. Um, I probably sprinted a total of um, close to a mile and a half um, stadium stairs for about five or six minutes straight. Um, and it, it works. It works. I promise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what I do when I take it to the track, when I really turn up the speed. Um, and uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Here we go. Check it out. What's up, you guys? Kavino, the natural one, Johnson. We're doing a little something different today. Um, as I've told you guys in my muscle book, uh, muscle bug videos and the axe news videos I'm about officially today makes 27 days before I get on stage for my uh, pro bodybuilding competition um, now I showed you guys what I do at home as far as hit training or high intensity interval training I got my dog and my son out here at this uh, high school track and uh, so what I decided to do is I He's thirsty. Stay hydrated. So what I decided to do is come out to the track and run some sprints. And, uh, you know, I'm only going to do about 20 minutes. Got some spikes. Um, about 20 minutes of uh, interval sprints. And then I'm going to show you guys some stadium, stadium runs. Um, like I said, I don't spend a whole lot of time doing cardio. Um, sprints seem to work best for me. Uh, only because I don't have the patience to spend an hour or so on a treadmill. Um, when I was in high school, uh, junior high and high school, I was a track star. 
Um, no long distance, forget that. <laughs> um, just sprints and uh, field events like the long jump, the high jump, the triple jump, um, things like that. Uh, no hurdles, I'm not that coordinated. Sorry, I'm allergic to bees, so if it's got wings, I'm gonna swat at it. Um, so yeah, you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys, uh, this old man still got some quicks, some quick feet. Um, like I said, it's gonna be a quick, quick little, little training. Um, got my son out here, my dog. It's a family affair, really. All right, stay tuned. They already know what it is. Remix. When the time comes, there will not be enough people to bury the dead. When the time comes, there will not be enough people to bury the dead. When the time comes, there will not be enough people to bury the dead. This is a Lost Soul production. If you are not ready to work, Hustle, kill, then please leave. Here, here, here we go! Alright, so this is like my fourth or fifth heat. So far, my fastest time was 12 seconds and some change. I'm gonna see if I can beat that. 100 meter, 100 meter sprints. Coming at 13 and a half, 13, 12, another 12. Let's see if I can come in at my uh, usual 11. Nation. 20, 25 minutes of high intensity intervals, sprints, stadium stair, stair runs, had my son with me, uh, and my little pooch. Let's go. I mean, no excuses. No excuses. I got 27 days. I do things a little different when I know I'm about to try to dominate this stage. Axe, muscle book. Cavino the natural, that's a wrap.